Cordy and I'm Steve Jobs' nephew, but that's kind of obvious. I wanted to put out this sort of new weekly segment, video um, thing, uh, where I'm talking about what I'm practicing kind of each week. The idea is that I'll show you what I'm practicing on Wednesday, and on Sunday I'll have uh, kind of the performance that I've been leading up to. Uh, that's kind of the, the loose idea of it, but plus some other little things that I've been practicing on. A big part of my practice at the moment has been uh, working on kind of altered ideas. Um, so if you're not familiar with what that means, I guess essentially, so you're playing in C major, um, you can play altered over like the fives or over major three, which is implying that you're back in like the relative minor. So that's the one that I prefer to use. So for instance, I'm playing over this progression. So what F chord four, flat seven, which is implying that we're taking from the F melodic minor scale and then resolving to C. A few things about the melodic minor scale. Um, one way that I practice it is just to freeze a chord and that sort of thing. So play that through as many positions as you can be bothered to. But then the other kind of useful thing is to find shapes that you're familiar with that work within that. So within F melodic minor or E altered, you've got you've got A flat. Um, major and B flat major triads uh, um, and then the other thing is these kind of cool less altered sounding things like this uh, um, So the idea is to try and work them into your playing um, and then also uh, I'll just drop in a clip here of some of my practice from this morning. Um, I'm trying to think about those ideas in a musical context and play them uh, in the middle of an improvisation and have them sound kind of musical. Um, so I guess one of the things is uh, some of the ways that we tend to run scales uh, are like scales um, and when it comes to actually applying them over music. Uh, you maybe want to avoid some of that happening some of the time. So that's why finding these little ideas can kind of help us to break out of the, the sound of it just being another scale. That's the idea anyway. practicing some of that stuff this morning. Um, this is the stuff that I do quite often throughout the day um, and then I've also got like clips uh, on my my phone of ideas from even like two three years back where if I hear a sound that I am like the sound of I'll sometimes just film that idea quickly on a, a camera um, so that it doesn't just disappear and I never hear that sound again. So that was where this um, rediscovery of those kind of sounds came from. So what I'm going to try to do with that throughout this week is move that all around the fretboard. Um, and the idea is that I'm just starting from the, the 7 of whatever the altered chord will be. So if it's E, I'm beginning it from an, a D. This little arpeggio idea. 
So that's what I'm going to practice some more of. But you, I think you might have seen it creep a couple of times into the improvisation I was doing this morning. So that was just to explain where that idea came from and why I'm playing it. Uh, I like the sound of it because it's not obvious. Not an obvious altered sound. Um, So it's kind of nice to throw that in there and it sounds just quite spacious and it's got quite a nice little sound to it, I think. Um, so the other thing that I'm practicing this week um, is I'm trying to put together uh, a version of I Wish, uh, the Stevie Wonder song, you know. Actually, what I'll do is I'll, I'll just quickly loop together a little idea for you um, so you can hear what this song potentially, or bits of it sound like. Two, three, four... <laughs> familiar with that tune but what I'm trying to do is figure out a way that I can sort of play it all together or key bits of it um, and have it sound like the song sort of so I'll just show you what I'm working on it's gonna sound a little bit dodgy but <laughs> finding that incredibly difficult at the moment um, the trick is to play it super slow and um, this is a little bit more planned than what I would normally do but because um, obviously I'm trying to play a bass line uh, consistently throughout as well as the melody and some occasional chords but I'm finding it really tricky but the, the key is to try and keep the metronome uh, slow until things start to um, come together and also I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to inject a bit more groove because there's bits where it's just feeling a little bit uh, plodding uh, obviously it's going to be a bit faster than that as well but I want to try and get a little bit more swing feel in there <laughs> moment that's very kind of plodding um, I'm gonna hope to try and inject a little bit of swing into that part um, but I thought maybe this would be slightly interesting that's literally what I'm working on uh, this week 
uh, aside from the normal kind of improvisation, uh, playing around and that sort of stuff. So hopefully this is maybe vaguely interesting to see me struggling through um, the piece that I'm trying to record on Sunday. Uh, hopefully you'll see on Sunday that I get it together, or maybe you won't and it'll be a shocking performance. Um, but that's just what I'm working on. So if this is interesting to you, leave a comment, uh, maybe like and subscribe. Uh, I'm hoping it's vaguely interesting. Uh, I put in a clip of some of the altered practicing. There's a Hotone Ampero being used in that video. The preset is in the description if you want to try that. So let me know what you're practicing this week and let me know if this was a useful or interesting video. If it wasn't, I'm sorry. Thanks for watching.